If only I'd known. Well, that seems obvious. Now. Ever said any of these things to yourself? Usually in a rather frustrated or annoyed at yourself manner? <laughs> so have we. Despite our best planning, how much we think we know or how confident we are in our own abilities, life can still throw one doozy of a curveball. At Psych2Go, we're all about trying to help make life a little smoother for you. So we'll share some wisdom others have said they wish they'd known sooner. Things like, you are more than the sum of your certificates. Accomplishments like good grades or awards are certainly signs of success and progress, but they don't determine your value as a person. Intelligence is varied, multi-form, and requires so much more than a piece of paper. Integrity, the choices you make, and the impact you leave on others have the most lasting value. Number two, learn financial basics early on. We're not saying you should be an accountant, but money is still necessary for the fundamentals. So unless you're planning to go off grid and live off the land, learn how to balance your books on a simple level. This means knowing how to at least file basic taxes and getting into the habit of creating and keeping a budget of sorts. This can save you so much anxiety and possible financial loss in the future. Number three, time is precious currency, value it. In fact, time is even more valuable than money because you can't earn it back. Even now, we're sure you can remember having thought at least once, I wish I had more time too. Your time is extra special because it's yours and you have to spend it. No one else can spend it except you. You can't give it to an investment person to make it grow and no bank in the world will make it grow interest. Although there are some things that require good timing. Don't wait for the right time for too many things because often there isn't an ideal time just the best choice possible based on prudence and wisdom. Don't throw your time away on people who dismiss you. With something this irreplaceable, you wanna spend it on those who understand and appreciate its value. Number four, boundaries. Have them, keep them. Your boundaries help maintain your self-respect and your self-identity. They help you keep safe when learning new things and let others know how best to interact with you. Without them, relationships become codependent and you find that you're not living your life, but one dictated by others. Number five, color outside the lines. Remember those coloring books and the joy of getting to use the big box of coloring pencils? Then remember learning that coloring inside the lines was deemed correct? Sure, that was the way it was when we were little and didn't know much about life. So we needed a guideline to start us off. As we grow older though, Many of us end up forming our own lines into which we box ourselves. We convince ourselves to stay in these lines because outside isn't safe or isn't right. Even if we're unhappy, we choose to stay comfortable in the familiarity of our misery because we fear the unknown, the new, or going outside the lines. To not color outside the lines leads to missed opportunities, staying in bad relationships, forever wondering what if, and the regret that follows. Well, that doesn't sound good. You can do it. Definitely do some risk assessment though, and then take the leap. Number six, learn to read subtext. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. You get me? Fine does not usually mean fine. Subtext is that nonverbal message that's sent when we communicate. Vocal inflections, omissions, a dropped gaze, or even a change in breathing rate can completely change the message that's being literally spoken. If you ever wondered how some people can speak so easily with others, it's because they've learned how to listen and observe others with both empathy and understanding. They're avid subtext readers. This allows you to respond to what a person actually means. Number seven, Rome was not built in a day. That's right. Despite all the myriad posts, articles, and podcasts bleeding about this life hack and that magic method to get rich, it's not true. There is no fabulous, fantastical method to fast track to glory. The effort, the failures, and the heartbreak can't be skipped. Even playing things safe, staying within those lines and never venturing beyond, can you claim to experience the true fullness of life that way? If you have a dream or goal, go for it. Do it smartly, of course. Don't dump all your life savings into a thing you haven't planned out, but still, go for it. Just know to expect failures. 
possibly derision, and at least some rejection. To figure out what's right, we have to know what's wrong as well. Nothing truly great and meaningful ever came easy because it's what you put into it that made it that meaningful in the first place. And number eight, go outside. Yeah, we know, mom was right. It's a nice day out, why don't you go play outside? It's true, and even more so now in the age of being able to do everything online, that going out is good for you. Touching nature actually is healthy and has been shown to be rejuvenating, even if it's sitting in a park on cultivated grass under the shade of a tree. So go on outside, mother nature misses you. We know that sometimes 2020 vision is the only way we realize how important some things are. Hopefully sharing these tips with you will help you make the looking back a little more, yeah, I did that, I feel good. Unless I wish I had. A good life is one without regrets after all. Anything you wanna add or discuss, comment below. Also, don't regret not showing us a little TLC and give us a like. <laughs> Catch you next time.